This is Johnny Ho. Johnny Ho is an eighth grade viola player. He was a seventh grade beginner. So he's in his second year of instruction. Uh, he's had a full year plus about eight months of instruction. Uh, he worked his way up from beginning orchestra to concert orchestra and philharmonic, and he's now assistant principal viola player in the top group in the uh, Albright Symphony Orchestra. Uh, Johnny is working on a Handel Minuetto. Johnny just finished his solo rehearsal run-through with his piano accompanist, and the, the piano accompanist is very quietly packing up as we have our, our lesson time. Johnny is in preparation for solo contest at the end of the week. He did a great job bringing out the phrasing and the dynamics and the style. The two-part goal of this uh, lesson is to correct the chords at the end of the piece and then work on the trills and the grace notes and make sure he understands the concept of the trill and the grace notes. So, uh, let's see. Uh, this is the end of the piece of the music. So he has these double stops here. He ends with this double stop and then the second ending at the fine, and he has to get both of those exactly in tune. And uh, then we work on the trill and the grace notes at the very beginning. He has this... Uh, quarter note, half note with two grace notes, and it happens twice in a row, and then it comes right back a few measures later. So there's the very beginning, and he has the same exact half note grace notes. So he has to really understand this concept. Uh, I'll start by addressing the tuning of the two chords at the end of the piece, and he understands the finger placement immediately, so we move on. Uh, the main focus being the concept of both the trill and the grace notes. I spend equal amounts of time demonstrating and counting and conducting the concept, showing him three different versions of both of these concepts of the trill and the grace notes with the expectation that he will show me what he worked on tomorrow. Here's the lesson. It has to be a low two and a first finger, and it has to be and then switch them. You're missing this chord. You're missing that chord. So make sure you pull your second finger back. Okay. The other thing is your trills suck really bad. <laughs> so let's clean those up. So how are we going to do that? First of all, let's address. The 16th notes, and those are considered to be grace notes, which means they should be. So when you get done with the trill, you can't go A, A. They're not eighth notes. It's a quick. It's a quick grace note. So I want you to start your trill and take your time with the trill and make sure you're trilling rather than just a couple of flipped mordens. What I'm hearing is... Yes, that's exactly what I'm hearing. That's not a trill. That's not a trill. And then you're playing 16th notes. So, let's clean up the trill. One trill... You, don't be distracted. You have an entire half note to take your time with the trill. You have a quarter, now here comes your half note, and you get to take your time with the trill. Trill, and the one, the, that needs to go da da da. When you're through trilling, you have to throw those grace notes in there right before B1. Make sense? I love the way you're playing your trill in the Baroque style and starting with the step above. But you're not really doing a trill. If you trill, it'll be more than just two flips of the finger. That's not a trill. Slow, speed up. See how I'm doing it? Start in slow motion. You have all day. Take your time. Hey, wait. You, you don't have to rush these. Wait for it.
Thank you. 